Alrighty, what's up everybody? Peter Gilmer here. Very late Wednesday night. Back again with another video right here on the Peter fucking Gilmore channel. YouTube.com slash Peter Gilmore. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe. You know what to do! Well, that's all I can say about that. Alright, just want to do a quickie late, late, late night video. It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. I would do my AEW review now, but it's too late. So I'm just going to push it back till tomorrow. Sometime tomorrow, probably in the afternoon. Probably early, maybe early afternoon. Um, and then I'll do my raw review um, sometime. <laughs> I don't know when, but... But we'll see what happens with that on the Killer Demons channel. So tomorrow I'll be doing my AEW review. So uh, come on to the party um, on this very channel. I'm putting a lot of content out lately and... um. More content than you trolls can do, but it is what it is. Because, well, the trolls are dead. I buried them. We buried them. The prophecy won again. And we'll always win. But, we're done with them. It is what it is. Alright. So, like I said, new shirt, by the way. Um, but anyway, like I said, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, sometime tomorrow afternoon, probably early afternoon. I'm going to try to get it done early afternoon, but we'll see what happens with that, depending on what I, uh, what I do tomorrow. So, probably around, I would say tr I'll try to get it done by between uh, 2 and 5 p.m. if I can. And then hopefully I can get the uh, Raw review up sometime tomorrow night on the Killer Demons channel. So, look at that. All right. But don't worry, those reviews will hopefully be coming. But, well, the the Raw review hopefully will be coming. The AEW review definitely be coming. And then we'll see what hap else happens tomorrow. But anyway, just want to do a quickie video. Now, Dynamite was fucking awesome tonight. Fucking awesome! Awesome, awesome show from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Probably one of the best Dynamites well, of this year, of course, but um, I think in the, in the three years of Dynamite, this might be the best one I've seen, I've ever seen. And I'll talk about this more tom um, tomorrow in my review. I'll go more in depth with the with the review. Um, but I want to, I just want to um, give, uh, just want to talk about the big big debuts tonight. Well, this is earlier tonight, um, in a in um on on Dynamite. First one was Jay White, the Switchblade, Bleach with the Switchblade. Jay White was a surprise. I didn't think Jay White would would walk through the door, but um, Tony Khan did say a big announcement, and um, after um Dynamite. He went on Twitter and, and made the announcement that he signed Jay White on Sunday, but nothing was said on the internet. So he kept this a big secret. So, yeah, Jay White is now all elite. Oh, and, but where is he going to be, actually? What is he going to do? What is the switch play going to do? Now, we saw him... Um, Beat the living crap out of Trent Beretta, who was uh, talking to the box and Adam Cole, baby. And um, as we saw, Trent Beretta, uh, well, excuse me, Jay White threw Trent, Trent Beretta into a truck. <laughs> but, and then um, he looked at Adam Cole in the box. I think he said something. And then um, uh, like Adam Cole in the box, like, oh, Jay White, I'm not going to mess with the switchblade. The, the former leader of the, well, still the leader of the Bullet Club Japan. You know, uh, Jay White hasn't been in Japan in a while. He's been on New Japan Strong, which is kind of like the affiliate to New Japan in the States, but. And now uh, he actually um, challenged somebody, a, a Forbidden Door type guy, to a match. Um, in New Japan Strong, so I don't know who that could be, but we'll see what happens with that. But 
Jay White is all elite. I I was shocked. I loved it. I marked the fuck out. Rosa even marked the fuck out. She doesn't even know who Jay White is. So, so I marked out, and um, is Jay White gonna be part of the super elite with the Bucks? With Adam Cole, Bebe, and maybe Red Dragon? What does Red Dragon really have to think about this? Because as we saw later on, um, Cole and the Bucks were kind of talking about Jay White. And um, I think it was uh, Mac Jackson said, You do know that him and Kenny were um, adversar well, adversaries, you know, arch enemies, if you will. So, and then uh, Adam Cole's like, Well, just trust me on this. If you could, if I could trust him, you can trust me. Something like that. So I don't know how that's gonna be. I mean, I would, I wouldn't, I would love for for Jay White to be part of Adam Cole's elite before Kenny comes back. Whenever that may be, probably won't be told. I would. I don't think Kenny's coming back till maybe the summer. At this rate, with his injuries and shit. But I would love for, for um, Kenny to maybe come back at double or nothing. But I'm thinking he may be coming back by all out to kind of rest you know, kind of, you know, get back through with Adam Cole and everything. And then after Adam Cole beats um, Adam Page, and I'll get to that in a second, um, at Revolution, Adam Cole is going to be the champion. Probably hold it for a very long time. But... Until, well, maybe until Kenny comes back. Uh, so, um, you know, Cole's going to have a lot of challengers, you know, coming up when he does win that belt. I think he will at Revolution, but he's going to have a lot of challengers on his plate. Moxley, Danielson, Punk, probably MJF, even though he's a heel, but um, maybe Jericho. Um... But, um, you know, can't put, you know, Moxley, of course, too. Um, yeah, I would say Cody, but I don't think Cody won. But, you know, but, yeah. But, we, I, no, like I said, like I said, we'll see what happens uh, when Kenny does come back. If Jay White does um, side with uh, with with uh, Adam Cole. But then again, he can, uh, this is going to all be a plot. And then when Kenny comes back, if Jay White does go with Adam Cole. Jay White could be plotting plotting with Kenny to get the Elite. And um we'll be um we could have the Elite versus the Undisputed Era when Roddy leaves, because Roddy's maybe leaving pretty soon with his contract. But but if we, we could see the Elite versus the Undisputed Era and Blood and Guts too but it'll be Kenny, Jay White, and the Bucks taking on the Undisputed Era. But we'll see what happens with that. And um, that's all I got to say about Jay White. But the Switchblade, Switchblade is now all elite. Big signing. Big signing. The other big signing and debut they bought tonight was was our good friend, the man who got married to Mia Yim over the uh, last couple of days. And that man is who I call, oh, by the way, I uh, call that, by the way, thank you. So, uh, that was Keith Lee. And I mentioned that on my NXT review, I was like, who's going to be the guy? Who's going to be the guy? Who's going to be the guy? I said, I think it's Keith Lee, because I mentioned a, a video or so ago before that uh, Keith Lee signed a contract with AEW, but when is he going to debut? When he debuted tonight... In the face of the revolution um, qualifying match against Isaiah Cassidy, better music, thankfully. I mean, and they let him do things that WWE wouldn't let him do. All the high flying shit. I just beat the fucking shit out of Isaiah Cassidy. Did you see that bill he did? Like he took Isaiah Cassidy, just launched him into the air. I thought he was like gonna throw him out of the ring. Hold like holy shit. But yeah, Keith Lee is now all elite, and we can all bask in his glory. And it, anybody knows the chance of basking in his glory? He was like, da, 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 da. 
and he used the Big Bang Catastrophe as, as a finishing move tonight, which was freaking awesome. I was hoping to spear bomb, but, but, eh, Big Bang Catastrophe, what, what are you going to do? But yeah, Keith Lee gets his first win in AEW, more to come. I wouldn't be surprised if he wins the uh, Face of the Revolution um, ladder match coming up at Revolution, but we still, he's the first one there, so we're going to have, over the next uh, couple weeks, we'll get more and more who's going to be in this goddamn uh, match. I thought it was him and Wardlow, but Wardlow's not even in it. As far as I know, but that's that. Um... Other than that, that's really all I gotta say about Keith Lee. So we'll see what happens with Keith Lee. I hope he doesn't get lost in the shuffle with all the other guys they signed and girls too. And there's more to come. Tony Khan said there's more to come. But who? We don't know. Could be well, we know Jeff Hardy is definitely going to be all elite probably sometime in March. But he could appear at Revolution, you know, his contract, does, well, even though it got bought out by WWE, uh, by AEW, his non-compete clause is still there until March the 12th, from, from what Matt Hardy said. But he could appear at Revolution, but not fight until after uh, Revolution, which is the week after. So, so not, he won't appear on the Dynamite after uh, Revolution, it'll be the following week, most likely. So we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, so Jeff Hardy's gonna probably debut soon. Um yeah, a lot of people wanted Bray Wyatt. Not anytime soon. Um Killer Cross, possibly, we'll see. Um in the next coming weeks with Scarlet Boudou. Me and Yim could could debut pretty soon. I thought she was gonna debut tonight with Keith Lee, like walking him out to the ring or something like that, but she wasn't there. I think she was home. Or doing something. I don't know what she was doing. Maybe at the hotel. But. See what happens with that. Um, Other than that. Maybe John Morrison and Taya Valkyrie. Even though I really don't want both of them there. But. We'll see. I still think they're going back to Mexico. Um, Who else? Um, Tegan Knox and, and um, Ember Moon or Athena. I think they're going to be in AEW pretty soon with that massive women's roster that continues to grow. And it's way better than WWE and Impact and, you know, Ring of Honor as well. But basically, Ring of Honor is, you know, mostly people that were in AEW or kind of in AEW. But, but yeah, we'll probably see Athena and uh, Tegan Knox pretty soon in AEW. Maybe more surprises we don't know about. You know, that Forbidden Door is still wide open. So, good Okada walkthrough. Tanahashi. Naito! Might come through. Maybe, maybe Hiromu Takahashi. Hey, maybe Abe Mio and Pieter might come through. Even though they come through down there. <laughs> but it is what it is. And that's all I gotta say about that. So pretty much that's all that's really all I gotta say. Just my thoughts on um Jay White and um and Keith Lee um making their day butts tonight. And uh probably more to come. We'll have to see um if there's anything on Rampage. Um Maybe something on Rampage we didn't we don't know about, but um yeah Rampage should be interesting this week with uh the box and Rapongi Vice, uh which was supposed to happen like a week or two ago, but thanks to Rock and Romero getting COVID, match didn't happen. It was Nick Jackson and Trent Beretta. I got that. Um, we also got a hook in action on Friday night. Uh, the AEW World Tag Team Championships will be on the line. Jurassic Express to get on the Ass Boys. I mean, uh, the Gun Club. Sorry, I had a, you know. Mr. Denhausen! I don't know. I suppose he wasn't on the show tonight. I was thinking that he would be freaking CM Punk's partner, you know, against FTR. But it was uh, Moxley. That was interesting. Good match, but, you know, 
Who would ever thought Punk and Moxley would ever team up? So, um, that was that. Um, and then the main event, the Texas Death Match with, with um, Adam Page. Man, it does a lot of cowboy shit. Take it on Lance Archer and a bloodbath. Holy crap. Both, I mean, really, Adam Page, I think, fucking was gushing blood. And I don't know if that was a, a bad blade job or... I mean, really, like, fuck, he got fucked up by that, by that, when um, Lance Archer, like, jabbed him really hard with a freaking fork. And Lance Archer was busted open, like, not even before the match started. Because he got attacked in the, he got attacked in the back, then he got put through, I think, something by the, by the tunnel, like, he was supposed to come out, and he, like, break something, or, I don't know. But... But yeah, Adam, um, pretty bloody match. Six spots. I mean, Adam Page getting getting hit, uh, getting the blackout on top of the on top of the steps. Ow! And then the and, and then the end of the match was was great. I mean, um, Lambert came out and Jake Roberts were, were out out there. Jake Roberts got a little bit involved. Hit the short on clothesline. Was about to go for the DDT, and Lance was like, "Fuck you, Jake Roberts." So we get that, and then um, Labor takes down um the top turnbuckle. Um, on all four sides of the ring, blah blah blah. I thought that we were gonna use the turnbuckle, but that kind of never did. Um, and then um, and I mean, just the ending was great. I mean um. Adam Page flipping over uh, Paul Turner and hit the buckshot lariat. I thought that was great. Um, which put um, um, then he then he uh, I forget what happened after that. I think he hit the buckshot lariat and uh, him and um, and then him he, he then he put uh, Lance Archer through the double table. Uh, at ringside, and um, they were both down, and then he uh, and Paige got up at like nine, got in the ring, retained the title. So that was good. That was great. Bloody match. Um, and then Adam Cole comes out, takes the AEW title, puts it on Adam Adam Page's shoulder, and then pats it. So there you go. For the next couple weeks, we're gonna get the hype for Adam Cole and Adam Page, the Battle of the Adams. Coming up at Revolution, and I hope Adam Cole wins. Even though uh, Adam Page has really defended a belt, like I think this, this is like his third defense. So much for his reign. We all thought like, oh, well, Adam Page should be the champion. He becomes champion of Full Gear, barely defends the goddamn title. Had one good match that was with um, what was that match? I think it was the match with Brian Danielson. That was, a, that was a good match on January the 5th. And then after that, really nothing, really, with Adam Page. You know, still, I think he had, like, he had uh, that, that one-hour match. And then he had the rematch. Which was a bloody mess. So, yeah, it's just like, I think this is his third defense, so. And all, like... Two bloodbaths, the second one with Brian Danielson, and then the uh, the one with Lance Archer tonight. So, I'm going to imagine what him and Adam Cole could do, but I still think Cole's going to beat him. Page is probably going to be... I don't know what's going to happen with him. Um, he'll probably still go, probably go gun for the, uh, the belt. I don't think he's going to get downgraded and um, go for the TNT title, but... We'll see what happens with that. And, um... Yeah, we'll see what happens um with, with Adam Page and Adam Cole next week. With, with Jay White and Keith Lee. Where they go from here. But Revolution's gonna be fucking awesome. I, I'll tell you that right now. I know it's the first pay-per-view of the year for AEW. Um, usually not their strongest pay-per-view. But... I think it's gonna now with the addition of Keith Lee and um, Jay White. I think it's gonna be a ama an amazing pay per view, especially with Adam Cole and Adam Page, probably the main event right there. 
So, uh, yeah, take my money, please. You know, I get it for free. But we'll see what happens with that. So let me know your thoughts about Keith Lee and, um, and Jay White's debuts in AEW. Who could be next going through the Forbidden Door? And um, um, that's pretty much all I got to say uh, about that. Uh, other than that, like I said, I'll go more in-depth tomorrow with an in, in more in-depth AEW review. Probably won't be too long. Most of the stuff, uh, it'll be like repeating myself, but it is what it is. And um, that's all I got to say pretty much about, about that. Uh, also, the Inner Circle broke up tonight. That sucks. But, yeah... It is what it is. Sammy left. Sammy left, and then um, Santana Ortiz challenged Jake Hager and Jericho to a match on um, next week. So we'll see what happens with that. I, I kind of figured Sammy was going to go his own way anyway, you know, because he is the undisputed TNT champion, and uh, who he face faces next will probably be Darby, and then um, yeah, Darby and Sting had a had a segment with um Andrade. And um, I'm not gonna go in uh, too much into that, but I kind of figured you you kind of figured what what would happen with that. Um, and then now uh, Sting and Darby came out with with Punk. We all thought it was gonna be like a you know maybe a six man tag because Wallow was already in the match where he beat the crap out of the Blade. Nobody cared about that, so I was thinking it would be MJF and and um, FTR against uh, Punk. Punk and um, Punk Darby and Sting again, teaming up again for the second time. But then um, MJ was like, "Well, you're gonna have a match with FTR, but you have to you have to choose a partner that's not Darby or Sting." And I was thinking at the time, I was like, "Thing was like, oh well, he could team up with the Briscoes, who didn't show up." So my bad. So I said that on Twitter that I thought it was like, gonna be a six man tag, and then um, somebody like tweeted me. Um, it's like, it's like, did he say it was supposed to be one partner or two? And I was like, I thought it was a six man tag. But then later on, it was uh, Punk came out, and then Moxley was his partner. So, so my bad on Twitter. So it is what it is. I, I I'm wrong every once in a while, not all the time, but it is what it is. But like I said, just let me know what you guys think about Jay White and uh, Keith Lee's debut tonight. I thought it was great. Um, Keith Lee was not really the huge signing. I think the huge signing that Tony Khan said on Twitter, um, like I mentioned before, was Jay White, who he, uh, signed on Sunday, this past Sunday, I should say, and, um, didn't really, well, kind of kept it secret, and then, not the greatest debut for Jay White, he came in, he, uh, debuted in a segment. I think if he would have debuted in the ring, the, the freaking roof went on off the place. But... That's really all I got to say about that. So let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, like I said, and um, I'll talk more about this um, probably tomorrow right here on the channel. Um, so uh, hit that bell, get notified when I do when I go live for that, that AEW review. Um, come on in and um, chat with me. We'll have a great, hopefully a good chat. Maybe get some of the, the you know, the, the usual crowd in. Prince Idol, Lauren, Nick. Maybe a couple others um, during the day tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, we're getting more and more. I'm getting more and more um, people coming to my show. Even people that were affiliated with that bald-headed bastard. But, you know, guess, who, guess what? They they turned on him. They're coming to me now. You know, I had, um, you know, that, that Kenny, Kenneth guy, Kenny... Used to love always on on that bastard show. Turned on him. Was kind of kind of. He came into my chat once, but I was like, uh, well, I was like, okay, you can come to my chat. You know, you're a cool guy and everything. But I mean, if you're still friends with show, with with you know who, I, I really don't care. I know Lauren's still friends with that douchebag, and I think Prince Idol is still friends with that that idiot too. Oh, that's that's fine and Andy, but I really don't care. What, what they do, that's their life. I personally don't care for that bastard. But. It is what it is. Even Tony from Revere came on my, um, my chat. Not recent, I mean, not, not, um, 
today, but like recently he did. But you know, Tony's a cool guy, and you know, still kind of uh, friends with that bastard. But I mean, I don't care if you're friends with that guy. I mean, if you come to my show and you want to, you know, if you're if you're um, you know, positive and you you know, leave me some good comments and stuff like that in the chat or in my um my video. That's fine, and Andy. Thank you for the thank you for the the comment. Thank you for the likes, and um, blah blah blah. Thank you for the sub. Cause I know a couple, you know, I think Prince Idol subbed to me, and um, a couple other people have subbed to me over the last couple of days. But you know, besides them, it's probably the, those um idiot tr idiots that we uh that the prophecy vanquished today, but um. It is what it is. They're they're irrelevant bastards, and you know, you know, the little antics. You know, it's still it is it is what it is. They're not, they're not gonna do shit. You know, they're not gonna come 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 fight me in the spring or the summer. I'll be away anyway, so. But it is what it is. Uh, talk talk talk. Same shit with these those fucking trolls. But it is what it is. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Done with those fuckers anymore. Yeah, they're gonna say, oh, you can still be on comment section. Yeah. Keep talking shit, I will be in your comment section. But, you know, but it's, it's they're irrelevant, irrelevant idiots anyway, with no proof. No proof, all talk. So, see you never, assholes. But, that's all I gotta say about that. So, I'm gonna get out of here. It's, uh, what time is it? 3.20. It's 3.20 in the morning. I'm going to go to bed because um, I got to get up and uh, go to work tomorrow. So, you know, because I do got a life. Unlike you, you, some of you people do, don't have a life, don't have a real job. Get up at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, freaking leaving me comments. Or replying to the comments. Like, that, you, know, you know, it is what it is. You know, you don't see me most of the time at 5 o'clock in the morning, you know, leaving comments. Unless I have to go to, uh, unless I'm in the bathroom taking a mighty shit. So, you know, you know, if I'm taking a mean old shit for like 10 minutes, you know, I want to look at my phone. So, and if I get notifications and, you know, especially from those dumb fucks, but it is what it is. You know, oh, you're at 5 o'clock in the morning, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Don't you have a life? Doesn't matter. I could be at 7 o'clock in the morning taking a shit and you'll still be commenting. But it is what it is. So, but that's that's all old news now. I'm moving forward now. It's February, you know, right now it's February the 10th. So, I'm just moving forward and just thinking about my life. I really don't give it, give two craps anymore with these, these immature losers. That's all I gotta say about that. But keep doing videos on us, you stalking obsessed fucks. But you know where you're gonna end up pretty damn soon. But that's it. All right, I gotta go. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow on my on my AEW review. But for now, Peter Gilmore signing off. Peace out. Rock on, rock on. You know the deal. And if you're not down with that, oh well, we got three words for you. Fuck you, man. Good night, everybody. Breathe with the switchblade and bask in my glory. Peace.